Hey, how you guys doing? 2019 Nissan Note e-Power that's having a hybrid battery isolation fall. That means the high voltage is touching chassis ground. So the only way to test this, we're gonna have to use our insulation tester. This tool injects high voltage to the battery and makes a connection to chassis ground. If by chance there's high voltage leaking, we will detect it with this immediately. The first thing you need to do is check the amount of energy per cell. If by chance I have an insulation leak, most for sure one or many cells inside the stack are going to fail. In other words, there's going to be a delta voltage or a voltage difference between the cells. So let's check them right away. So we're gonna use our CAT4 multimeter just by measuring the amount of energy per cell. So here we go. This is a lithium ion, it's supposed to be 3.7 or close to 3.7 volts per cell. So I'm gonna put it in six volts. I'm gonna locate this right here. Hopefully you guys are able to see it. Let's make a quick test in each one of the cells and see for yourself. Here we go in three, two, one. All right, 3.697, which is 3.7. The cells is perfect. Second one, 3.695. No delta, it's perfect. So here we go. We're going to do that with all the cells. All these modules have 3.69 something volts, which is telling me clearly that it's fine. Let's check the module from the other side. Here we go. See for yourself. 3.698. 3.7, here we I already separate the modules. The modules are actually connected via copper bus bars. I separate them so each, each one of the modules has about 80 something volts, which is fine. But I want to know if by chance any of this module, any of the cells are touching chassis ground via, I don't know, one of the cells broke, we don't know. So uh, because it's 83 volts per cell, I'm just going to put this setup in 125 volts. So how does it work? Well, easy. I just touch this to any, any part of the battery because the battery cells are connected in series. Okay, I just press this button. There it is. She's injecting voltage and telling me clearly 4,000 mega ohms means completely open circuit. There is no isolation leak in this battery module. Let me, give, let me begin with the next one. We go with the test again. It's three, two, one. There it is. 4,000 mega ohms. Perfect. No leak. With the third one. Testing in three, two, one. 4,000 mega ohms, open circuit, all right? One more, 4,000 mega ohms. The problem is definitely not the battery cells, but most common is in electric cars. In hybrid, that's very, very difficult. Now, the main problem is because this vehicle uses self-balance assistant to keep absolutely all the cells with exactly the very same amount of energy. Well, if you have an internal circuit inside each one of the boards, that could cause a short circuit if by chance one of the one of the resistors failed, that kind of stuff. It's not such a common issue, but it happens. As you can clearly see, this vehicle uses one, two, three, and four cell stack modules of lithium ion. And look, this one is completely burned. The second one is completely burned. And the passive balancing system, as you can clearly see, look, these are the little resistors that keep the battery in balance using passive balance assistance. So it's an internal circuit to keep each one of the cells in balance. Look completely burned. My diagnostics to this high voltage battery is it is in good condition, it's just a high voltage battery management system replacement. 2019 Nissan Note e-Power. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.